These are the supplies that you're gonna need to make some bow whipped cream mug toppers for any holiday season. The first step is to take these foam circles. They are the perfect size. Hot glue it onto just a little piece of cardboard and then cut it out, leaving about a quarter to a half inch of the cardboard on each edge. This is gonna serve as your top for your mug. Now that you have that, you're gonna to wanna to use the fast and final lightweight spackling. It's super important that that is the kind that you use. And you're gonna take a piping bag with a one inch star tip. Trust me, I used too small of a star tip and it didn't turn out very well. Go ahead and put the bag inside of your cup inverted and just using a plastic spoon, put the spackling into your piping bag. Quick tip, it's good to stir the spackling lightly before you put it into the bag. That's going to make it a little less dry. Mine was a little bit on the dry side for this project. And then I had purchased these clear bags, which were a little uh, too flimsy, and I ended up going and using a blue bag, which was a little more higher quality for this project, as you can see. Now you just start piping around the dome that you've created, leaving the bottom edge for the very, very last. Again, my star tip was a little bit too small, so it was a little bit hard to squeeze the spackling out, but you're just going to decorate it like you would the top of a mug of hot cocoa. And again, I'm sitting here doing the bottom part last. Then the fun part, you get to embellish the mug topper however you want. I took this little plastic pumpkin and some straws. I cut the straws two different lengths and then I glued, hot glued them together just to kind of create a little whimsical straw look. And you can glue each of these items down into your wet spackling. When you uh, decorate this, you can get creative, put all sorts of little embellishments on it. I use this caramel paint from Apple Barrel to just kind of create a faux caramel drizzle all over the top. You, I would recommend that you do this before the other embellishments. I kind of made the mistake of putting the other embellishments on first. Um, and then I topped it with some real cinnamon just to give it that cinnamon look that looks like a really fun drink for the fall. And then you're gonna to wanna to let it dry overnight and probably add a little bit of triple clear or some sort of polycrylic. I also made a cute mug topper for Christmas with the peppermint candies crushed on top and then a dark brown paint. If you like this kind of DIY, I'd love for you to subscribe for more.